Beasley on Alan Wake. I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Yeah, I'll be running too, so one's shooting me. A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I, was I can tell he's not used to writing that type of genre. And that is so heartbreaking. My wife? Is that my wife for real? There you go, Alan. Oh Are no. You? I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I you went through another rough period. What? Yeah, I that's such an understatement. That you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. <laughs> shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness no my wife's wife suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia bastard it's okay, okay alan just, just let, let go 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 go, go. <sighs> so my wife is dead and i've been doing all of this for nothing I'm so pissed. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. Piss off! I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Oh, how now, how comforting. Come with me. No. I'll we'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. So there's a typewriter here, pages, blank pages over here. What? Wow. Wow, this is crazy. I'm I'm at the clinic. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Like me, right? I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I wait, what? In treating artists. Oh, what wait. Wait, this is the doctor that our wife was telling us about early in the series. Hence why there's a typewriter there and the empty manuscript pages. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Why do this I have way, a feeling Alan. you are not really a good guy? You're pretending to be a nice, caring guy, but you really are not the good guy. I'm getting, like, really bad vibes from you. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. Okay. So I'm just going to say this. Go ahead. Alice is dead. No, she's not. No, no she's in not. A very vulnerable state until you understand. Piss off. Piss off. Drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking. An obsession about light and darkness. A feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. 
So you're gonna tell me that's not happening? Let me go this way, Alan. First I wasn't of all, for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Honestly, if Alice is really dead, where's the body? Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Oh, yeah? So, if everything could be explained logically, where is my wife's body? If you say that she drowned, her body should be in the morgue. So, take me to the morgue, show me her body, and then I'll believe you. Until then, you're full of shit. And I don't even believe you. I don't even know why you don't believe me. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh, and the thunderstorm. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Yeah, the darkness well, is coming. No Clearly. Look, the darkness is coming. And you are... What I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Oh, piss With off! All your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Yes. Because you don't want to admit that you're not well. Actually, I don't think he's lying. I personally believe he thinks I'm losing my mind, but obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. The thermos, the thermos. The palms of my hands to stay focused. Once you accept that, the thermos is right there, bro. Come along. Let's go inside. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Yo, this guy. Scary, scary, scary. What drugs is he on? Emerson. Why is he laughing like that? <laughs> Shut a up. Bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. I'm not confused. Yeah, I know there's like away, so you won't be scared. But you can't what? just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him. Some? To say. Some? He works on video games. Oh, so do I. Ooh. It does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. This man no would kidding. say that video games are trash. Oh, great. What about this one? What does she do? Is she supposed to be a singer? You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Really? And what if I don't feel like it? Then what? Are you gonna force me? Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lounge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, 
please respect your fellow patient's need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by the creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment. Voluntarily? I feel like I'm being held against my will here. Voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Wow, I'm getting specifically tailored drugs. That's so awesome. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Question is, if I voice them now, are you going to listen? My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Same. And Same. These two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. That sounds they epic even actually. New first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are well in advanced stages of dementia. Oh no. Well for TLC and all that, there's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. I could have sworn I saw these two guys at the diner oh, earlier in the episodes. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better How convenient. We'll How this. convenient. Whatever. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room try to write it really is for the best don't you think hmm interesting don't i think okay i'd like to bash his head in with a hammer oh he'd love to fish out our secrets but he has no clue he's not crazy enough <laughs> not crazy like us sonny yeah being ah. crazy is a requirement sonny who else could understand the world when it's like this. It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the I like that. It takes crazy to know crazy. Did you just hit me? Hey, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. Wow. Go down lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. It gave you a rash and I'm touching it? Ew. My head right. is clearing up, or according to Hartman. Hold on, let me see. A manuscript, right? L let me read this. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. First of all, this old guy has one of the missing pages of my manuscript. And then this doctor has the audacity to say all of these things are in my head. Bullshit. Bullshit. I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Yeah, that's the sad part. Okay, I definitely need to get the thermos. Wait, let me see. None of these doors open. Wow, none of these doors open. Ooh. Wait, of course this door won't open. That's the staff. Yo! The front doors are locked. Ooh, a thermos. Thank you. Doc's got me looking after way here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. I'm a bad You can't wait. This guy flipped the sofa over. I'm done. Wait, who's out here? I want to talk to this painter guy. I want to see if he has something to say. Oh, 
Hello. I've painted you. Yo, you're okay. so creepy. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Yeah, so uh, a painting of up. me. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Yo, look at that. You really think that's a storm? Those are not clouds. There's smoke for a reason. This is insane. Bro, you're a little creepy for painting me, but you know, I I I assume you're harmless, so I'm not really gonna be too bothered by it. Scary for them. I take two pills every morning. Wait, hold on, let me see. They literally have us locked in. Hey, wake. The doors were locked. Hartman, Hartman and the nurses right would have shot, keys, huh? but there was no way to room. get my hands on them. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Okay, thank you. You're so Wow, you're so kind. I could have never guessed. I could have never guessed. Anyways. Something's wrong. Wait, what? Myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. What? Her presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a whole She's right behind you. Be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Great. Just great. I don't know what to do. Wait a minute, what is that? I can't believe there's a QR code in this game. You know what? I'm curious. I want to see what this is. Okay, so I press the YouTube channel. Wait a minute. Hold on. So I pressed the image of the QR code on my phone, right? Hardly and it leads me right. to I I this YouTube video. I figured video. I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Hold on, let me play this video. A beginning. A primordial forest. The colors of the fall. The mist. A caldera lake. Silence echoes. Loud. It's too late to hear the words. The man, naked. Crawls to the shore, like a birth. To say that would be a lie. Nothing like a birth. The opposite. He staggers to his feet. A carcass of a deer lies on the shore, rotting amidst driftwood. The man is afraid, beside himself. Who is he? He doesn't himself know. Dark waves have washed it away. A blank page where this horror story will be written. He remembers darkness. Feels the shadow pressing down on him. Coming after him. He must get away. He runs to the forest. To a fate worse than death. That's insane. Oh my goodness, this game is so good. You guys really need to play Alan Wake. Like, I regret not playing this game sooner, but I'm still happy that I actually chose to pick this game. This QR code led me to a YouTube video called Vision 3, and I hope you were able to hear the audio. This is getting so interesting. Ooh, okay. So, I'm just looking everywhere, anywhere and everywhere at this point. Wow. I know, I know, I'm being nosy, whatever. But there's a reason why these rooms are open. Okay, so that's the painter guy. Cool. 
Obviously, this door is locked. Who's this? That one's locked. Whatever. This is... Oh, this is my room. No, I don't want to go in there. Not yet. Hartman Let me explore some more. Been up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Oh, no, no key! Damn it! Oh, and then, once it gets dark, that's it. The shadow people come. The evil demonic spirits come and try and kill me. Okay, this is locked. Let me get that thermos. And then I'll go to my room. I want to know... I don't know if you are able to tell me or not. But I want to know... How many thermos do I need to collect? Because I could have sworn... I... I just gave up counting after 10 at this point. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Bendito. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? What? How are you gonna tell me to stay there if I'm already here, bro? Just for that, I should leave my room. What the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, let me see. Crazy brothers, are you? Not so weak now. Okay, here's my chance. Where's everyone? I'm jetting at this point. Let's go. What's going on? Where's oh? That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. Wow, that's messed up. She had it coming. Yo, with the hammer. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. I hope she's okay. That's crazy. I really hope she's okay. All right, let's go. On to his office. Office? This is his office, right? Look at the paintings. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. What? For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. So Alice was here. Now, Mrs. Wake. Can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. Never. I would never hurt my wife. Never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Baby, why? That to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. Stop. Excuse me? I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm If you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Oh, Worst baby. All, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Alice, I am so, so sorry.
I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to respond with. Like, damn, no wonder she wanted to go on this trip with Alan. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Wow, okay, that's cute. And this is a manuscript that already happened. Oh man, okay, okay. Wait, what's this? The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. What? I represent a celebrity. They'll be looking for me. Oh, that's how you want to play it? Is that how you want to play Barry? Ow, about time. Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. Barry? We Why are you here? Office. It's right next door. You oh. okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Right. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy out. Tell me, me about it. He shot me. That son of a bitch who tells me you're here and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. Wow. Once, so it was a trap. I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. You're mad immature yeah, for that. That's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We got to get going. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Barry, move out the way. Damn it, Barry. Now I'm in some sort of a little glitch, because you can't even move. Ugh, oh, finally. I thought I was going to be stuck in the same spot. Wait, a gun? These were all the pages I had on me. And more. You better get that gun. Oh, who's here? Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, no shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Come on, Barry, move your ass! Oh, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Woo! Oh, he's gone. He is so gone. And now that thing's inside the cabin. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's escape the clinic. Let's escape. Hold on. Come on, come on, please. Finally, let's go. Come on. Ooh, this is horrible. Oh, no. This is not... Oh, you suck. Oh, you suck. Out of my way. Oh, you suck. Okay. Okay. The only way I can do this is by going upstairs. I have to go upstairs at this point. Wait, the generator! Oh, how convenient. Now it's working. Now it's working. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, gosh. This is horrible. I don't even like this. Is it working? Alright, now it's working. Alright, that's locked. Woo! Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, this is not okay. 
All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Ooh, Ellen, sup? Ooh, okay. All right, right here, right here, right here. Come on. Thank you. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Right here, right here. Woo. This is not it. Okay, right here, right here. Come on. Wow, this is insane. This is insane. How do I, how do I do this? Right here? Come on, let me out. Thank you, finally. Finally, I need to leave. Wait, what's this? I'll take that. All right, should I do, let's do, Ashley, let's read that later, I wanna leave. Let's read that later, I wanna leave. I can't. I know, I know. Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? How can I escape this? Come on. Oh, ooh. Right here? No. Oh, the darkness is coming. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, right here, right here. Come on. What? What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, great. I'm dead. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.